I also had to get some blood taken, which I don't like needles. Like, I hate them. And to make matters worse, the blood sticker guy, you know, that guy, he, uh, he started using poor grammar. He goes, this ain't gonna hurt. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 we're not doing that, all right? We're not, we're not, no, no, we're not, we're not. You can't use, uh, like, poor grammar and do medical stuff to somebody. Because cause if he says this ain't going to hurt, I'm thinking, well, he may ain't not know the difference between a vein and an artery, all right? He may ain't have remembered to wash the disease blood out of that syringe before he stuck it inside of me. We're not doing this, okay? We're not doing this. And it, it's not his fault. The guy was probably good at school in science and bad at English, but I don't care, man. It's a confidence thing. Like, if you want your kid to be a doctor, you make sure they do well in science and English. And if for some reason your kid cannot do well in English, teach them a foreign accent, all right? Like, because we all know if the doctor's like, me not to know the, uh, how you say, how you say, how you say, all that guy's a genius. You do whatever you gotta do, doc. I went to college with you foreign guys. You were always in the library when I was drunk. You do what you gotta do, man. I trust you. Your poor grammar equals high MCAT score. I... Here's the thing, like, it, it's just medicine. Like, I'm not a snob. If you want to fix my car, I don't care if you use poor grammar. Matter of fact, I'd prefer you did. If the mechanic's like, that there transmission ain't never ever gonna work again, I'm like, well, I guess I need a new transmission. Obviously, this guy knows what he's talking about. He's butchering the English language. He's probably at the top of his field. I better not know, wait no more longer for this, no more. No, not. I walked by a construction site the other day. I heard 37 swear words in under a minute. I was like, that is gonna be a sturdy building. You ever walk by a construction site and hear somebody say, darn it, or shoot, that thing's coming down. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, is education is important, but we all have different levels of education, right? You know, that's fine. It makes us more interesting. But you gotta know who you're talking to. I met this lady recently, we were at the grocery store. She was really nice. We started talking in line. She goes, yeah, my doctor says I need to start reading labels. She had kids. She goes, if I can't pronounce one of the ingredients on that label, he said I should not feed that item to my child. I was like, that's pretty good advice, depending on your level of education, right? <laughs> if the mom's like, meh, 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 I guess that kid's not getting milk, all right? <laughs> Doesn't seem fair. I can't feed my child Malik. 